Hey everyone, today I'm going to share with you the update of the chem sequencer and the OP sequencer. And the update to the chem sequencer is that under the hood is the OP sequencer. And the same things that we have with the chem sequencer we can now do with any operator. Only one single operator per op operator sequencer. Uh, so this is not a full preset system, it's just a per operator preset system. Um, but the main update to the chem sequencer now is the spline interpolation. So I'm just gonna uh, record some positions upon this, this, on this. And let's see what happens if I animate this with an in out sign. We can kind of see where we recorded our positions. And this is not such a continuous movement, no matter um, which, inter which easing we, we select. But if I turn on this spline interpolation option, you can see now that the movement is very smooth and continuous and looping. <coughs> this has some drawbacks uh, though. So with some movement or some, yeah, some spline interpolation, it could behave uh, unexpectedly but everything is a prize so just uh, go with what looks the best or feels the best uh, for in the situation we also have this tab now called presets and if we open the cam presets you will see this ui pop up and we could go ahead and manually edit uh, edit whatever we want and we can also just uh, view them like this and yeah, basically that's it. I can re-enable the select uh, expression here. And we can also move around presets, which is cool. And we can generally use this, uh, this UI also to add new stuff. Something to note here though is that um, the look at presets and the cam presets are not linked in this UI view so be careful when you're moving around stuff um, this the preset will not move for the look at so as I said the big update is that the OP sequencer is here so you can use this to to um, perform the same kind of easing operations or spline interpolation for any kind of operator um, so I will just open its little UI I can drag this bloom onto there so it registers as the operator and I can select some um, or rather drag and drop some um, parameters that I want to sequence let's say this is those three I'm gonna change the threshold I'm gonna append this preset I'm gonna change some more stuff I don't know I'm just randomly doing things that's enough and now I can enable this expression to animate this and we are currently doing the in out sign I can change this to them to any other um, yeah put it override I guess we, we can change this to any, any other easing um, curve and we can also enable spline interpolation which will give us a very smooth result. So that's it. Uh, this works for any operator, as I said. Um, and I hope you have fun with this. You can find these um, components on my Patreon or on my Gumroad. And yeah, thanks for uh, watching, following, liking, anything. And I hope to see you around.